a blessed evening all they welcome to another live session of the protest gate online broadcast as you know my name is isa phillips akintola i want to welcome you once again this evening to the last session we're going to be having this year the lord has been so good to us 2021 has been a blessed year has been a fruitful year has been a challenging year but also has been a learning curve for us so many things the spirit of god has brought into our life into our space and we are beginning to grow and mature in the realities of heaven's prophetic program for our life i believe that as we continue to move to us amen the new day of the lord that's more than ever before we are going to even develop we're going to enter into that scope of spiritual maturity and we'll be able to function within the reality of god's uh, our prophetic counsel for our life as you know our ministry is a prophetic ministry everything that we stand for that we represent amen that we do and uh, that we live by are prophetically designed are prophetically uh, 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 aligned and therefore we do not just live in the order of giving a prophetic word as many will do all right we have moved beyond just you know uh, what is god saying give me a prophetic word we live in the context of a prophetic spirit and i think that is what makes our ministry unique we want to build a people that will walk that will function within that you know spiritual atmosphere where every concept of their existence is prophetic amen by nature and i think this is something amen that the lord amen is calling his church into where our life is not just built around some prophetic word or prophetic you know gift we want to walk in the full reality of the prophetic spirit amen the bible talk about christ the bible says the testimony of christ is the spirit of prophecy the word testimony there amen reflects everything that christ amen you know stand for and represent and that's something that we want to it may fully function in excuse me in this season in time we want to walk in all of the reality of christ amen purpose and desire and design we want to understand his ways his will his plans his intentions his is 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 make up amen the very the very life the very essence what christ represents amen is prophetic when we say prophetic it means that everything that he does the things that he says the way he was born how he grew amen the the way he interacted amen the, the way he carried out his father's ministry everything is prophetic meaning that they are led by the spirit they are guided by the spirit they are instructed by the spirit amen and of course they are, are executed by the spirit right to be prophetic means to live a life that is driven carried propelled moved by the spirit amen and this is something that i believe that the lord will have his church amen to excuse me to walk in such that we are able amen to fully come into that mature reality of representing amen god's prophetic mandate for our life heaven is calling us amen to a point to a place where we can fully mature amen in the execution of the values of christ of the nature of christ of the ways of christ of the will of christ i hope that amen as we i highlight some points tonight as we press towards the end of amen the year 2021 i hope that some of the things that i'm going to be highlighting will give us a better and a deeper you know perspective in relating to what god amen is saying what the lord is doing and how he will have us move amen into the year 2022 like I've said before, and uh, that our 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 understanding of Amen, the things of God is not limited, is not captured. Neither is it Amen, uh, 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 control or influenced by Amen, human calendar. <clears throat> amen calendars of men were designed by by of course by men all right many of what we know as calendar as months you know 
all of that are all you know are, are structured by you know the roman you know empire and all of that you know people who were very uh, knowledgeable people who were all into all kinds of astronomy and you know and astrology and all of that they were the one that came up with amen the concept of months january and all those months themselves amen they have their meaning they have their own you know a, a, a identity and connection amen to all right to you know to you know the to the planets or to certain gods okay so we don't we are not bound by all of that but like i said because we live in a world amen that is influence that is controlled that is propelled by amen calendar that is you know are structured by calendar therefore we you know we 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 we, we relate to that okay yes so if 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 if, if december amen dawns on us and we are hitting uh, december 31st we all know that well another calendar month all right and not excuse me another you know a, a, a calendar month has ended and of course a new year is about to begin all right and and there are all kinds of things that we relate to, amen, entering into the 1st of January, amen, yes. So we, 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 we understand that and we appreciate the fact that God has kept us, amen, through 12 months, amen, of, of trial, of test, of, you know, of pain, sometimes of disappointment, amen, and uh, sometimes, amen, of, you know, blessings and favor and all of that. So it's just basically, you know, right for us to thank God for the end of the year, to appreciate what he has done, amen, to give honor and praise to him, amen, and that's it. But when you talk about, you know, uh, uh, understanding our life in terms of, you know, movement and advancement and and uh, uh, looking at achievement, we, we look at that through the eyes of the spirit, all right? The spiritual man, amen, is governed by the values of the kingdom. The spiritual man is governed, amen, by the instruct, instructions of, of, of the spirit of the kingdom of God, amen. Therefore, it's important that we separate, amen, the chronos, amen, of, 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 of man, amen, and the kairos of God, all right? We don't live in a calendar month, but like I always say, we allow the calendar month to allow us to express gratitude to God, appreciate him for what he has done for us in our family, in our home, particularly when you look at the this you know the year 2021 i mean so many lives i mean i'm sure some people that will be watching or listening to me can count the number of people all right that have passed away that have died amen closed loved ones that have passed away all right and all of that happened within our own environment some people were very close to us many of us you know contacted the coronavirus amen uh, you know uh, some contacted the people that we know that contacted the virus died all right and somehow we survived it's not like this virus is selecting all right who who is immune and who is not immune regardless of amen the vaccine and all of these things that you know they're they're talking about some people that are, you know i know that i thought should not die amen just died you understand so for god to keep us alive i mean it, that amounts to something and if if you look at all of that the way god has kept your children some of some of us you know you you take public transport taxi and all of that no matter how we all mask up all right there is still contact all right there is still contact but somehow god kept us alive god kept us amen through all that you know period and season all right many have lost all kinds of things business money you know you, you mentioned it the, the the psychological impact and effect amen that many people went through you know in 2021 will never be able to be quantified all right by any human measure no psychology will be able to you know capture the, the kind of trauma that people went through amen in 2021 of course from 20 you know 2020 but all of this amen brings us to a point to a point to, excuse me to a point where we need to really lift our hands to god amen and say thank you father the fact that i'm i'm still alive the fact that amen i am still here i'm, I'm still breathing it means that you still have a plan for my life it means that you still have a plan amen for my home for my family amen 
and if you have lost people in your family it's all part of god's amen design we can't blame god we can't we can't take him to court we can't sue him amen for what has happened we we we, we as believers amen we, we should develop that understanding amen that the lord is very much involved in our life that whatever happens to us amen is because he allowed it even the enemy that seemed to be, uh, uh, you know, at work and, you know, doing overtime, trying to stop and trying to hinder us or trying to frustrate us, amen. Guess what? He's all part of God's program. God allow him to do all of that or else he will not be able to touch us. So what I'm saying is that we appreciate, amen, the, the, the celebration of the end of the year because we can see because we we, we 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 can we can feel hallelujah and we understand the things amen that has transpired that has happened and that calls for us to really appreciate god and give thanks all right to him and believing god believing him that next year amen the coming year will be amen, a year that is more even fruitful amen and prosperous and that's where we express and we share good wishes with people amen i've done that today amen people that have that are close to me, people that have, you know, been part of my life, that have contributed in one way or the other. You know, it's just right to, to share, amen, appreciation, to, to send a word of love to them, amen, and that's part of it. But outside of that, there is a bigger picture, there's a bigger purpose, there's a bigger, amen, understanding of who we are, amen, as, as believers, as Christians, and we want to understand how to function within the scope, amen, of God's prophetic program for our life, amen. The world that we live in today is not just a world that is run by accident or by some people who sit somewhere and decide, okay, this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to shift things. This is how we're going to manipulate things. Of course, there are those who do that, amen, and they're very powerful, amen. They're very wealthy. They are very influential, you find them, amen, in various sectors of human life from, you know, the point of the political influence to, amen, the, the place of financial, you know, uh, uh, influence. You find them in almost every area of our life to the point that uh, uh, there's no way you try to turn that you won't find this powerful amen uh, uh you know strong goals these powerful horns amen who have who have positioned themselves that no one amen lift their head but guess what? God is very much in control, even of those people. They are but a breath. Amen. It's in this context and it's, it's in this understanding that we live our life and we need to understand that there is, amen, the sovereign hand of God that is leading, that is guiding us, that is instructing us, amen, that is, you know, motivating and, and, and pushing our life to the place of the ultimate finish. Amen. There is that understanding that we have to wear. We need to uh, we need to walk in to know that who we are, what we are, and what is happening to us are not accidental. Particularly, amen, if you have given your heart, your life to Jesus, if your life is in sync with him, amen, then you know that everything that you do, amen, is secured in the Lord. That there is no power, that there is no spirit, that there is no entity, there is no system, amen, that can hinder, frustrate, or plug you, amen, out of his hand. That is a that is a truth we need to know, we need to understand, and we need to walk in. Hallelujah. That your life is not being managed manipulated amen by some group of people who sits in brussels by some people who sits in in the un by some people who sits in god knows where that your life is secured in christ jesus and that everything that you're doing amen is being motivated by a higher power not the power of politics not the power of financial you know muscle not the power of you know uh, uh, the illuminati not the power of you know some you know globally somewhere but god is amen enthroned and is the one guiding and directing your life we, we, we read the scripture this uh, this morning while i was sharing the scripture says amen that the purposes of god will stand the counsels of god amen will be established and it will stand forever there is nothing that can stop that can hinder that can frustrate no matter how people try no matter how people amen try to frustrate or try to manipulate amen god god who is your father who is sovereign who is watching over you is the one leading you just as he led you know uh, his people amen when the time came for him to bring them out of bondage amen for 430 years the powers of pharaoh the pharaohs that have come and gone amen could not stop could not frustrate the intentions of god when it was time for god to step into 
amen, the affairs of men, the system, amen, that people have built, the system that society, the system that the past, amen, that be have put in place cannot stop his intention. That is something that we've got to know. And that's why I keep saying, amen, that we are already, amen, in 2020. We're not just waiting. Our, our life is not designed by an event. Amen. Yes. Those who will be crossing over tonight are waiting for an event to cross over. We are not We are not waiting for an event. We have already crossed over. Why? Because we are prophetic by design. Our life is motivated. Is controlled. Is influenced. Amen. By something bigger than, amen, uh, uh, the world that we live in. By something, you know, far bigger than, amen, the, the powers that be. That's something. We are, we are being influenced. We are being motivated, amen, by a life that cannot be, that cannot be stop amen when jesus came into this world there was no power amen that could stop him he functioned within the system that amen that was well in control that was well in charge amen of human life the roman empire back then amen was such a powerful amen political system with a military force amen that no power that no system could stop well, but guess what our lord was born within that system think about it so we are not afraid, amen, to be born. Many of us will, 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 will move into you know, 2022 and certain things the Lord will demand of us. Certain things the Spirit of God will, will command us to do. He said, rule thou in the midst of thy enemy. The kingship and the lordship of Christ, amen, is, is relevant within the, 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 the influence of darkness. The beauty of light, hallelujah, is, is within, amen, the, the ambience of darkness. The glory of light is, is, is revealed within darkness, hallelujah. So these are important things. So we are not, we are not going into a, a, a 2022 fearful, amen. We know that there will be challenges. We know that there will be trials. We know that there will be all kinds kinds of things the enemy when jesus was born there were all kinds of things amen that were done to to stop him to hinder hallelujah in fact to kill him look look at the number of children amen that died hallelujah when christ was born children from two years old downward were killed by king Herod. Why? Wow, because amen. A, a, a king is born today in Bethlehem, but that king was not born in a main in a, in, in some palace. That king was born in a manger, and that 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 that's the principle of God's of God's you know a, a, a movement within the affairs of men. When God wants to do His thing, God does not consider who is in charge, who is who is who is ruling. Amen. Is is it Herod or, or is it Caesar? Amen. God is not moved by amen human political power. Is not moved by okay. Is it ANC that is in charge, amen, or is it uh, 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 the Democrat, or is it Biden that is in charge of the White House, amen? God is not moved by that. He's not limited by oh, it has to be Donald Trump that is there. God will move despite and in spite anyone there. <laughs> You see, we've got to wear this mindset. Rule thou in the midst of thy enemy. When God, amen, was ready to move, he moved. When God was ready, hallelujah, to intervene, he intervened, hallelujah. The Bible says, when the word of the Lord came to John the Baptist in the wilderness of Judea, he was in the wilderness. But when the word of the Lord came to him, what happened? He changed his poster. The Bible says, and then he went into Jerusalem. He went and began to challenge the powers that be. We need to understand, amen, that all of these things that we read in the scripture are prototype. They are divine blueprint for us. The birth of Christ, the birth of John, amen. The, 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 the way, amen, the prophets came into, into their ministry. Amen. You, somebody like Amos. Amos, you know, was a vine dresser. He was a vine dresser earlier. The word of the Lord came to Amos. They said, no, you've got to now step up. You've got to live this thing. There's a higher purpose. There's a higher vision. There's a higher amen, mandate for you. Live this walk and go and prophesy to my people better. Go to Bethel and give them the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. John was amen, in the wilderness of Judea. When the word of the Lord came to him, they changed his posture, they changed his location, hallelujah, and he began to engage with the powerful political system of the day. You see, God prepares us. 
And it's important that we understand, amen, the way the Lord prepare us. You may look at yourself and you feel inadequate. You may look at where you are right now and, and it, it seems as if can anything good come out of this point? Can I actually make amen, an impact? <laughs> it's like Gideon when the angel of the Lord came to Gideon and say, oh, that great man, you know, mighty warrior. Gideon was like, uh, who are you talking to? They say, you, uh, mighty warrior, great great one. No, it can't be me if it's me. Can, can't you see? Don't you know my, my you know, my, 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 my resume? <laughs> Do you know where I come from? Look at my pedigree. I don't have what it takes. <laughs> they say we're not looking for you know your ability we're looking for your availability hello let me repeat what i've just said we're not looking for your ability we're looking for your availability are you available when you are available they, they give you amen the ability to go represent nobody amen can ever prepare themselves enough for whatever God will have them, amen, carry out. It is God, amen, that infuses. Have you seen somebody that God called without empowering? Have you seen, amen, a season dawn, amen, within a time period that God did not equip his people for the season? No. And this is why, amen, you need to understand and hear what I'm talking about, amen, that where we are today, we are tracking, amen, that which the Lord is doing in terms of preparing his church. In 2020, amen, a new day was dawn upon the earth. A new season was birthed upon the earth, hallelujah. There was a shift in the prophetic calendar of God, amen, for humanity. 2020 was a period in time where God, amen, shift a new page was open. And, and it's in that context, amen, that we are moving, that we are understanding, amen, that we are interacting, amen, with, with the nature of the days that we live in. 20, listen to this, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24, amen, amen, to 20, to 2029, 20, they are part of one single program. They are part of one single program, amen, that we all have to go through. So, when you talk about, oh, moving into 2022, you've got to understand it's part of 2020, 2022 is part of what God began to do in 2020. Is a time, is a, is a, is a, is a 10 years program, amen. Yes, God, God gave us a 10 years, amen, assignment to get ourselves ready, to get ourselves prepared, to get ourselves aligned, to get, amen, the church in in order hallelujah to get the structures of our spirit man amen aligned to his prophetic mandate and design such that amen when 2030 hallelujah knocks in if the lord tarries we will enter into another season the bible talked about a time where the angel of god comes to steer the water and anyone who gets into amen that that moment of steering of the water gets to be healed hallelujah and there are all kinds of people amen at you know at the porch and and there was a man amen there who could not amen get into the the angel had come to steer the water everybody knew that that moment amen you've got to find your way into the water because whatever you are looking for amen the direction the instruction amen the, uh, the empowerment amen whatever you're looking for at that time you get it because there's a divine ability there's a divine power there's a release of heaven into the earth it's called a season you see the prophetic seasons of God are totally different, amen, from human season, from human calendar. So right now, while we're looking at 2022, you've got to understand, hallelujah, 2022 from the context of God's prophetic season. And I've just told you, amen, the seasons that we are in right now is, is, is elapsing, amen, by 2029. Uh, by 2030, we would have entered into a new season. So right now, the grace that we're sharing the instructions that we are hearing, the direction of God, Alleluia, for this period in time, Amen, are all elapsing, all, all are all combining into, Amen, a ten years program. Is that clear? That has to be clear to you if you're listening to me. I'm just trying to open something quickly. It has to be clear to you 
that amen there is no quick fix it <laughs> excuse me there is no quick fix it in 20 you know 2022 <laughs> oh well eh, eh, God is going to do a new thing yes he's doing a new thing in the context of what he began to do in 2020 the new thing God is doing right now thank you so much my dear sister for joining the new thing God is doing right now amen is in alignment to what he began so if you want to if you want to hear thus said the Lord what is God saying you go to 2020 God have not spoken hallelujah <laughs> God has not spoken. Listen, when God spoke to Elijah, eh? when God spoke to Elijah, that there's going to be what? There's going to be drought in the land. When that word came, for the next three and a half years, there was no dust yet the Lord. In other words, what God said to Elijah at that period in time was enough, was enough word, amen, to carry the people, to carry, hallelujah, the citizens, to carry whatever is going to be happening in the earth at that period in time, amen, is within the context of seal of the heavens. In a day and time where we want something, we want it now, quick and fast. We want to hear the next word. Uh, uh, prophet, give me a prophetic word. Here. What is God doing? What did, no, what is God saying is that you need to uh, track and trace what God began to do, amen, in 2020. Amen. The, the voice of the Lord, if you heard the voice of God in 2020, if God ever spoke to you in 2020, if the Lord ever brought you into a divine you know, alignment, if they ever brought an instruction into your life, if, if you ever amen, receive a word in 2020, that word is still carrying you. Whatever word you are hearing, whatever encouragement, whatever inspiration, inspiration whatever you know word you are hearing must be within the context amen of the of the of the of the daba amen of the now word of the prophetic word amen that came in 2020 you see i'm very very you know shrewd when it comes to the things of the spirit i, I like to trace i like to follow I, amen vigorously the heart and the mind of god you will if you if you've been following the teachings that we have been doing amen it has been in line in alignment in that di in directive hallelujah to what god amen began to do amen to what god told us to what god said amen all the teachings that i've been doing amen are in sync with what god told us with what god began to do with the with the sabbath that god released in the earth in 2020 amen so this is to remind you if, you, if you have forgotten, this is to remind you, amen, that if you want to hear God, I hope and I pray that we will, many of us will not get distracted because all kinds of prophetic words are going to be coming, particularly in this period in time. There are all kinds of words that you're going to be hearing. But if amen, a prophet is sound. If anyone is sound by the spirit, they will be saying the same thing that I'm saying. Because when God speaks for a season, all right, that word becomes a general prophetic instruction. It becomes a general prophetic instruction. There is a general prophetic instruction that comes, amen. There's a, there is a personal word that always comes to us. You know, when you receive a personal word, that word is just to edify you. There's, a, there's an ed edifying prophetic word. All right? Many times we confuse an edifying prophetic word, amen, with an instruction with an instruction from God or an instruct an instructed prophetic amen demand. All right? It's important that we do not confuse, amen. Yes, you know, a personal prophetic word that is given to edify you, amen, to what God is saying to his body, to his church. You see, what I'm saying, I'm trying to, you know, clarify, amen, this too, as we understand, amen, what the Spirit of God, you know, is saying and is doing within, amen, the body of Christ. What I'm giving right now is a word for the body of Christ, hallelujah, within that, within that, you know, general prophetic word, amen. There will be emphasis, there will be emphasis to individual houses, to individual people. What God, amen, said to Judah, amen, may be different to what he's saying to Nafi.
prophetically may be different to what he's saying to Dan, may be different to what he said earlier to the tribe of Zebulon, may be different from what he's saying to the to the tribe of you know the Levi, but generally there is a prophetic word that is given to the house of Israel. But house of Israel is made up of 12 tribes. So you must understand what is God saying to you, amen, as a tribe within the bigger nation of God. Within the higher reality of God's plan for, amen, for the people. What is God pointing to? What are the things, amen, what are the instructions? What are the directives? What are the, you know, uh, 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 alignment, amen, that you have been called to? All of that will allow us, amen, to converge, amen, to, to come to a point, to stream up to a place, you know. Some time ago, uh, I, I, I told us right now that, that what God is doing is converging, is bringing all the streams together again. All the four heads of streams, amen, that, 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 that went out, that flowed out from the Garden of Eden. We are returning to Eden. So what the Lord is doing right now is, is, is bringing the four heads of stream back together again. Because we are coming back to the place, amen, of, 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 of the place of paradise. We are coming back to the place of, of life. We are coming back to the place, amen, of the washing. We are coming back to the place, amen, of life, of truth, of grace. Remember that all the wealth... That the people of God needs, amen, are within the river. Each of the river, amen, defines our source of sustenance. The Bible talk about the gold that we found, amen, within the river. The Bible describe, amen, the, the quality of wealth, amen, that are within the river. As it were, amen, in the days of Ezekiel, that, 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 that the river Alea began to grow and increase as, as Ezekiel moved from the outer court into Alea, the divine order called the altar of God. The Bible talks about the river increasing. From the leg, the, the river, the water began to increase, hallelujah, to the ankle, to the waist, hallelujah, to the shoulder, until, amen, there was a submerging. And it's important that we understand, amen, this prophetic typology. Because if we don't, amen, we will miss or we will misplace what God is doing. What God is doing right now has to be clear to us. Has to be crystal clear to us when there is a clarity, hallelujah, of what the Spirit of the Lord is doing, then it gives us the opportunity, amen, to flow in, in, in the direction of spiritual instruction. All right. I said prophetically in in the in the in the in the prophetic article we released, amen, last week. I said prophetically, the body of Christ is in the calendar season of reformation and restoration. What is God reforming? God is reforming his people and God is restoring. And I don't want us, amen, to, to limit this word, amen, reformation and restoration to, you know, to the buzzword, to the things that we have heard before. I really need us to know that today God is reforming his church. To reform his church means God is working within the structure of his church. That's the meaning of reformation. Reformation is not, is not cosmetics. Reformation is not cosmetics. Amen? It's not window dressing. Reformation is deep inner work. Alright? They're not bothered about the outward. They're dealing with, amen, the structure. They're dealing with, amen, the framework of what holds us together. What defines us. They're dealing with, amen, our philosophy. They're dealing with, amen, our, our values. They're dealing with, amen, our template. They're dealing with, amen, the bone order, the bone structure. They're dealing with this, with the skeletal order that holds the body together. You see, the reason why the church cannot work together, the reason why we cannot work in unity we cannot work in harmony don't we preach it don't we talk about it is because we have not yielded amen to the reforming of the structure our bone structure amen has been has been shattered amen we, we live in a dysfunctional amen and at a disjointed order and so amen, the body is looking like yes we we, we you know we, we're strong but but but, but there is no bone there, there's a damage within the structure of our life of our thinking of our pattern of reasoning there are all 
kinds of things, amen, within our life that is damaged, that God, amen, is sending powerful prophetic voice, amen, to speak to. That's why I said, amen, in my introduction, that many of the things that we're going to be hearing right now, in fact, let me read, let me read on, let me read on from this note that I've got here. I said prophetically, the body of Christ is in a calendar season of reformation and restoration, which means that the type of words being emphasized from the throne of God should be adjusting our image. When we talk about Egypt, we're talking about reformation. Should be adjusting our image, our perspective, amen, our understanding to the ascended heights. Where, amen, we can progressively and progressively increase in the ascended required ministry of wisdom in order to reflect the current objective of the Father for the redemption of creation. That's, that's, a, that's a mouthful of words. <laughs> amen. Yes, that's where we are. Let me take it again so you can understand. I said prophetically, amen, the body of Christ is in a calendar season. Amen. The body of Christ is not in 20, it's not in 2022. There, there is a calendar season, amen, that cannot be defined by, amen, a human calendar month that cannot be defined, amen, by January, amen. The calendar of God is not January, it's not February, it's not March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. The calendar of God, amen, is defined by God's prophetic activity. On, on earth hallelujah when you understand god's calendar amen you you are quick to align you are you are you are prepared to give amen to surrender yourself because it is god's calendar amen it's it's it's, it's god's calendar that defines amen our moving our our movement and our maturity and of course amen our sense of achievement you you can achieve things in the natural realm amen but in the spirit they say sorry you have failed you understand that yes they say you're failed so it is important that we understand amen where we are hallelujah in line with god's calendar amen month god's calendar season god's calendar amen intention amen amen so when, when we are able to pick and we're able to identify amen the, the the voice of god the speakings of god amen the sound of heaven earlier and we're able to respond accordingly amen we begin to do what we begin to advance in accordance to amen the the the, the, the demand of god for our growth our growth amen is defined to, is defined by how we respond to the speakings of heaven so when heaven comes and begin to speak and say certain things and you're not responding amen guess what you remain in that in that in that realm i said right now amen that there are heights we are being called to climb there are position places that heaven is calling us into as we respond to the voice of god once as the lord spoken twice have we heard not that when God speak you run back to Eli amen when you run back to Eli you don't you you are, you are not gonna grow hallelujah because amen there's a priesthood that has been rejected remember that the prophetic program of God works with the relevant priesthood for the season so you can be hearing thus here the Lord but if you're in the wrong house if you're in the wrong place amen if you're aligning to the wrong priesthood you do not have amen the spiritual life you do not have the power the devotion amen to respond swiftly and quickly amen to what God is to what God is saying prophetically the body of Christ is in a calendar season of reformation and restoration those are big words which means that amen the type of words so I've just told you amen that what that whatever God is doing right now is in the context of what he began to do when in 2020 until amen 2029 entering 2030 the next time we're gonna hear amen a, a profound prophetic word amen that will be for the body of christ that will be for the ecclesia is going to be in 20 20 you know 2030 so are you saying isaiah that god is not going to be speaking of course god is forever speaking amen every day god is speaking let those who have ears hear what the spirit of god is saying there's a speaking there's a sayings of god but there is a word amen that god have spoken 
that within the context of that major word, amen, we are hearing other words. We are picking other frequency. We are responding to other dimensions, amen, that we need to respond to. It's like one chunk of word comes, boom. And within that chunk of words, amen, there are other words, there are other words, amen, that we have to hear. This is very important, amen, to understanding how to walk and how to respond, amen, to the things of God. There is something I quickly want to bring out. I said our vision in moving into 2022 must be straight, not crooked, not uh, jumping around. It has to be straight and must also be strengthened to continue, amen, in looking forward, amen, Towards the glorious future, we have been called to manifest as sons entering their spiritual inheritance in Christ. The future is not some calendar. You've heard me say this several times. The future is not some calendar, amen, a month ahead of us, but a powerful prophetic activity of the Lord shaping and redirecting everything amen back to their ordained place in Christ these are powerful words these are powerful statements the future is a prophetic reality of God's seed unlock within the within within the womb of a powerful visionary calling amen a, a powerful visionary calling carrying this seed amen for the next season is a is is, is like a, a woman that is pregnant, amen. That that is anxiously, amen, and, and guardedly waiting for a day of delivery. These are powerful things that we need to understand. There is a seed that has been sown within the womb of the church, amen, in 2020. So many things happen in 2020. Many things happen spiritually. And many people are 2020 is gone. They, no, no, no. 2020 was a time, amen, where the angel of God came to earth and steered the water. Where, amen, God came down and spoke. It's 2020 was a time where God came down and said to Noah, it's time to move. The ark must now move. And the ark came to a place called Mount Ararat. And there was a moving out of that ark into a new day. Hallelujah. We came into a new season. We enter into a new sphere. Into a new dimension. Even though everything still looks the same. But spiritually, hallelujah, something new was ushered into the earth. God began to do a new thing, hallelujah, in 2020. He said, behold, I do a new thing. Can't you see it? Many people didn't see it. Many people saw corona. Many people saw a virus. Many people saw pandemic. Many people saw, uh, uh, who, who, now, uh, who were the actors? <laughs> they saw Bill Gates. <laughs> yeah. They, they saw the pandemic. They saw all kinds of things. And they're still seeing that. Within all of that, there is a speaking, there is a, there is a, there is a, there is a moving of God, there is a coming of God, hallelujah, there is an impression of God, God were impregnating men, in the day the angel Gabriel came, hallelujah, and found Mary and impregnated her, hallelujah, there were women running around doing their thing, they didn't even know something had happened. They didn't know that something happened until the day of delivery. When did you get pregnant? <laughs> when did you get pregnant? But you were not married to the... Uh, you'll be left behind. It's a dangerous thing, Allah, for God to come down and we're not aware of it. For God to be speaking and we're not picking it. But we're busy with church. We're busy with our own thing. Hallelujah. Amen. People were fighting. Why, why did they lock the, lock the church? People were into all kinds. Of <laughs> In the midst of that, everyone was changing the order. The order of the ecclesia was changing. They were undressing the ecclesia and redressing her. But people were fighting. Religio the religious spirit was hitting themselves here and there. 
if I ask some people out there, what what period are we today, amen, in the calendar of God? Ah, uh, they don't know. They, they are not aware. Not because, amen, the Lord has not spoken, but, but they, they don't just bother. It doesn't concern them. So we, we've got to understand amen, that right now there is a trumpet that is sounding. They said if the trumpet makes amen, a muffled sound, a muffled call, who will be prepared for battle? There are all kinds of battle taking place. Our mindset of battle has to change. There are battles amen, at all levels. Battles of various kinds taking place right now. But people don't know. People are not aware. To them, they're just fighting religious battle. Just like in the days of the crusade. We've got to understand where are we prophetically in the calendar of God. What is the nature of the battle and what kind of war gear are we supposed to be wearing? What kind of weapon, amen, is required for the nature of the days that we live in? Where is the direction of God? Where is God? Why is he saying to us, amen, how does he want us to turn? Why, why is he pointing to? What direction is he leading us? What kind of leadership, amen, is the Lord steering in this season? What is God doing in his church? Hallelujah. What is the prophetic instruction of God for his church in this glorious day, in this new day? Do we know it? You see, if we don't know these things, it's going to be very difficult for us. Because we will be wearing the old garment to deal with, amen, a new day. <laughs> They said, sorry, you can't go with this. <laughs> Saul was still trying to dress David with the old garment, with the old mindset, with the whole position, with the former dimension. You know, go. David said, I can't go with this. Are you following what I'm saying? Are you picking the directions of God? Heaven is speaking, I know. When God is speaking through me, I know. This is very clear and sharp the, the word of God for this season amen are instructional they are instructional why because the Lord is realigning his church the Lord is rebuilding his church the Lord is empowering his church the Lord amen is reinforcing his church amen a church that was shattered that was broken amen a people that cannot speak that cannot function a church that looks so powerful amen but is weak a church that has gone into hiding amen have been brought out a company of people, hallelujah, that will take the mountain have been prepared. A Caleb, amen, company have been called out, hallelujah. A new order of vision, amen, is being infused into his church. A church that has gone blind, that has gone bonkers, that has gone religious, amen, have, have, that have been shot for three days, now have been given life. A church that will no longer depend on his physical sight. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Come on. Don't tell me you're not picking the voice of God. We've got to understand the nature of the day. This is not the time to go and show yourself and go and... No, this is the time to let the Lord perfect what he has begun in you. He has begun a good work in me. Listen, no matter where you are, there is a good work that the Lord has begun in you. And he wants you to continually surrender and submit to the process, to the dealings of the perfection of this good work. He wants you to continually yield yourself so that by the time, amen, you are, you are sent out by Jesse. By the time, amen, Jesus said, go, take bread, amen, you know, take cheese and milk to your brother at the wall front. You will have been ready. You may look, amen, unprepared. You may look, guess what? When David was sent to go to his brother at the wall front, he wasn't dressed for war. He didn't go with a sword. He didn't go with an armory. 
He didn't go with the mentality amen, of finding a warrior, of finding, you know, a, a Goliath. He, he only went and he heard. He saw how the people of God were in distress. Multitude, multitude, amen, in the valley of decision. He saw the people of God scattered as, as, as a sheep without shepherd. He was a lad. He was a young boy. But heaven, I feel the presence of God. But heaven was locked on the inside of him. It's not how lanky you are. It's not how, you know, uh, uh, you know, how the world tells you you are ready. When the world tells you you are ready, you are not ready. Until heaven says you are ready. Oh, come on. I feel God in this place. I feel the presence of God here. I'm giving you a word that will lead you forth so that you will not blink your eye. You will not shake. You will not be moved. You won't go when the people say go. <laughs> they, they say to Jesus, if truly you are the son of God, go. Everybody is there. Go show yourself. He said, my time has not come. Huh? How can your time not come? Everybody is going. It's a day of the Passover. Everybody is going there. Why won't you go? He said, my time has not come. Do you know when your time arrives? You see, Jesus was tracking, as I told you, amen, via amen, the, the, the calendar of heaven, via the prophetic timing of God. You see, there is a time. He said, now your time is, but my time has not come. Now you can do whatever you want to do, but I don't respond based on human timing. I don't respond based on human calendar. My time has not go. You, you has not come. You go. <laughs> but guess what? friends read that scripture when i was in bible school i used to read that scripture and, and i'll just jump but guess what jesus got there before the people got there and it was from there he made a declaration he cried out he says is there anyone thirsty hey, Shanda, lord speak to me speak to me is there anyone thirsty? You who have been drinking from this book of the Pharisee, who have been depending, amen, on the knowledge and the wisdom of the Pharisee, now I am giving you an opportunity. Is there anyone thirsty? Let them come and drink. How does a mortal man make such a declaration? That was leadership. When I talk about leading forward, is there anyone thirsty? Come to me. I can satisfy you. Shakumbra gayata. Mara ato sombre gizabayando. Come to me. That is the voice of leadership. Come to me. Our vision in moving into 2022 must be straight and must be strengthened in continuing to look forward towards the glorious future we have and we have been called to manifest as sons in Christ. Our future is not one defined by crisis. When crisis comes our way, there are opportunity for us to learn. There are great opportunity for us to advance. There are opportunity for us to show amen, what we are made of. You see, when David got to amen, the battlefront, what an opportunity for him to showcase what was on the inside of him. What an opportunity to display earlier what he, him alone knew. He had fought bears, he had killed, you know, fought lions. Nobody were aware of it. You see, there is a company of men and women that heaven is going to be releasing in this season and time. They are the Davidic company. The things that heaven has used them to do in the past. 
pass. Nobody knew of it. Society don't know of it. Their peers don't know about it. But God has deposited, yes, victories in them. God has allowed them, yes, to kill and to, to overcome bears and lions. They are the people that God will be releasing in this season and time to take the stage, to take the platform and begin to display his glory as they challenge the complex satanic powers that are coming against the church and the nations. You will begin to see a new order of leaders who will come forth and begin to showcase and manifest the eternal authority and power of God. Because they have journeyed with God, the sovereign hand of God is upon them. They will be the one, yes, that will lead. They may be young. They will look young. They will look like people who have no experience, but their experience has been ordained and defined by the spirit their experience has been found in the place of prayer their experience has been has been built in the place of devotion in the place of worship because they are lovers of god and they have come to the place of oneness and unity in the spirit they are the ones that heaven will be sending forth to save this new day Get ready. A new creams of leaders are coming. You've never heard of them before. You've never seen them before. Even the ones that you have seen, you've never taken note of them. Because there was nothing that reflects leadership around them. There was nothing, there is nothing that defines that they can save the day. But they know God. They have walked with God. They are walking with God. They will go forth and they will display the glory of Yahweh. It's a brand new day. It's a brand new day, friends. Oh, I feel the presence of God here. What a word to, 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 to end 2021. You see, many people that are supposed to be hearing this word, they are running around religious spirit. I dare to say to you that this is a prophetic word that will guide you through the trial, the tribulation, the persecution, the rough terrains that many will face in the coming seasons. Because listen, friends, it's going to get darker. But as it gets darker, it's going to get brighter. Why? As it gets darker, we are commanded to do what? To arise and to shine. You see, when it gets dark, that's when people go to bed. That's when people get limited. That's when people go into all kinds of hiding. Darkness puts, puts limitation on men. When ESCOM takes light, you don't want to do anything. In fact, there are few things you can do. What we do most time, we, we want to go to sleep, we want to go to bed. And you know that that is the time where the powers, where the where evildoers, where arm robbers and bandits, yes, want to take advantage because they know that amen, people are limited with light. But that is the time God says, Arise, shine. Shine with light. The light that is coming. The light that has come. Those who go to sleep, go to sleep in the night. Scripture says. We are not the sons of the night. We are sons of the day. Let's arm ourselves with the armors of light. Let's be clothed with light. God, remove every form of darkness out of my life. Infuse me with your light. Help me to love your light. Help me to become, yes, a radiance of your glory. Shine in me and shine through me. Let me become a beacon of light, a reflection of your glory within and around my environment. Let the voice 
of your light in me continue to shine forth break forth break through break in and break out it's a brand new day friends what am I saying the Lord is speaking to us if the trumpet makes an uncertain sound and a muffled sound who will be ready who will be prepared what am I doing I'm preparing you I'm aligning you am I adjusting amen your spiritual frequency so that you don't run with some low lights low low light prof, you know prophetic word no this is a prophetic word amen that is being beamed from the heavenly order what is the word the Lord said to Moses make two trumpets of hammered silver it's a day of redemption friends whenever we talk about silver amen, in the scripture prophetically we're talking about amen the period where God's redemptive amen God's salvation God's restoration of power comes to bear God gave an instruction amen to his apostolic amen regents make two trumpets not not four not five <laughs> two trumpet what is the word that i'm giving you amen as we move into 2022 onward i'm saying the prophetic instruction the prophetic word for our day for this period in time starting from 2020 till this period onward amen are instructional they are directives they are words amen that are called to realign us they are words that are called sometimes to judge us the word judgment is not a negative word the word judgment is to correct us so that we can do things so that we can align ourselves in accordance to heaven divine pro prophetic program judgment and condemnation are two different things presently any prophet who is hearing from god amen his word will be sharp his word our word amen will be very corrective amen that word will be like giving you an hiding you'll be feeling pain I, yes. <laughs> yes because that is the period we are the period we are right now amen are periods of instruction they are periods amen of 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 realignment amen of direction amen yes of clarity your rod and your staff your rod and your staff I do going to do what they're going to comfort me your rod and your staff god is speaking to us from a position of amen a shepherd <laughs> we've been talking about the restoration of the tabernacle of david the tabernacle of david is a reflection of a value system amen locked in david it's not a physical temple being built in jerusalem amen is a pattern of life that reflects amen the value the prophetic value order amen of a davidic generation i said there's a word in the house your rod and your staff they comfort me let me read what my brother is saying brother jonathan hallelujah thank you so very much my dear brother thank you for joining i really appreciate it thank you for sharing those words your rod and your staff they comfort me do you want comfort align to the prophetic leadership amen of david that is being restored remember this is the day of the restoration amen yes of the tabernacle of david the tabernacle of david is a company of men and women are uh, calling the church bringing the church back to divine order when amen an order of saul 
goes bonkers and begins to create all kinds of confusion within the nation of God's people, God raises a div- listen to this, the pattern that, that began amen, the church that began the nation of Israel is the same pattern that is going to end earlier, yes the age, is that is the principle of God, as it were in the days of Noah so shall it be in the days of the coming Hallelujah of the Son of Man. Yes. In the book of Amos 9 11. Yes. In in that day, God will restore. God is restoring. Amen. Yes, the house of David, the tabernacle of David. Like I said, it's not a physical temple. The, the tabernacle of David is the temple of God being restored back to the people of God. Because now God is going to dwell amen, within his people, among his people. Hallelujah. The glory of the latter house shall be more, shall be greater than the first. This is the latter house. Read the scripture. Read the book of you know, uh, 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 Zechariah. The glory of this latter house shall be more. The glory, hallelujah, that we are stepping into, amen, cannot be compared with what we have seen before. All of the past move of God, amen, cannot be compared to what God is about to do in this season. But guess what? We will have to surrender to the ministry of the rod and the staff of God. Particularly in this season where we don't want to be corrected. (laughs) We're in a day where uh, we hate instruction. We hate correction. We hate rebuke. We hate anything, hallelujah, that tells us we are wrong. We have, we have imbibed and we have brought, amen, the spirit of the age into the spirit of the world, the spirit of Babylon. We have brought it into the house of God. That's why we seem weak. That's why we seem as if we can't do nothing. That's why today everybody is a prophet. Amen. Because nobody wants to sit and listen. Everybody is an apostle. Somebody I used to know, you know, when I was in Johannesburg, I was checking, you know, you know, our Facebook today, looking at uh, suddenly I'm looking at ah, this this I know this I know this guy. This guy used to be under another pastor that I did a training in their church. Suddenly I say, Oh, but he's the same guy. Now he's an apostle. <laughs> he's an apostle. Do today you can buy the title. <laughs> Bible said there was a period amen, in the life of the people of God that you know uh, the, 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 the nation amen, was without was without the true God. So everybody did what was right in their own eyes. We have brought democracy into the order of theocracy. We're not running the things of God, the house of God, as if we're running a party, we're running the ANC <laughs> or DA, whatever party. <laughs> Are you getting the point? We're running the things of God as if we're running a, a political party. The house of God has become a clubhouse. We now choose side. We're living in the days of the Corinthian church. We boast of gifts, yet we are so divided. I told you, this is the day, hallelujah, where heaven wants to realign. They want to, listen to this, they are not thinking about your color of skin. They want to correct, amen, your bone structure. That is the definition of reformation. That word reformation, amen, was captured from, amen, those who fix broken bones, broken structure. That's why we can we can fix everything, but we don't touch the structure. <laughs> the moment you touch the structure, ah, people will fight you. Men of God have fought me for touching structure. You touch, ah, they will kill you for touching their structure. <laughs> but is the it, this, listen, listen, listen. Jesus said, "Amen." Not one stone will be left unturned. <laughs> you want to see the move of God? You want God to move in the nation? Alleluia. All of this thing that you that you deify, that you glorify, that you honor. Jesus looked at that thing and said, "Not one stone will be left unturned." 
God will, God will break down our structures. Let me repeat it. Men of God, women of God, if you are not ready for God to pull down your structure, then you are not ready to be the house that will house his glory. Every house is built by the man. But God is the builder of all things. We have used our hands to build all kinds of things, to ship all kinds of things. No wonder we jealously get those things. We, we will fight ourselves. We will, men of God are killing themselves for structures. Let God come and test what you have built. We spoke about fire today. The fire is for test. The fire is for test. They will test the materials that we have used. Materials are there are not bricks and stones. Materials are the quality of values that we've used to build the things of God. Please make this word go viral. <laughs> That's what they say, but I know the word won't go viral. Oh, but let the birds of the spirit carry this word to many places, many houses that needs to hear these words. We're bringing the heart of God, the mind of God. The will of God must be done in our life. We like it or not. You say, man of God, what are you talking about? Psalm 23. That is where I'm taking my cue and the instruction of the prophetic word for us. In this season. Psalm 23 verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Oh. Yes. That's a good place to shout. Praise God. Hallelujah. But he doesn't stop there. It makes me to lie down in green pasture. You want to. You want to lie down in green pasture. Then you have to listen. He is the one who makes me to lie down in green pasture. Nobody lies down in green pasture. You want to sit. He says lie down. He says lay down in green pasture. He makes me to lay down, to lie down in green pasture. He leads me beside the quiet water. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the path. Amen. Along the path. For his name's sake. If you are following me. You should be picking. Amen. A trait. You should be picking. Amen. A powerful words here. He makes me. He leads me. He guides me. He refreshes. We are not moving forward until we submit to the leadership of the great shepherd. We have been shepherded by men who were blind. Now God is calling us back as we hear the voice of David being restored back. Amen. Listen to this. David was one man, amen, that was defined to be, amen, a true leader. In fact, all of the leaders that led Israel, amen, are either pattern after, after the order of David or because they did not follow the first step of David, they were judged. Thank you, sir. My dear brother Jonathan, he is coming to judge. And we've got to be ready. We've got to be ready. The Lord is coming to us in this season in time. This is a prophetic word. I want us to arm ourselves with. The Lord is coming with his rod and with his staff. And if we respond to these two ministry of rod and staff. Listen to this. We will be comfortable. And we will be comforted. 
we will be comfortable we will be comforted hallelujah and we will not conform to the ways of this world but rather we will be transformed because we would have submitted to his leadership the lord is my shepherd a shepherd amen is a leader what we have heard in the past two three decades in the body of on the body of christ amen <laughs> unfortunately it's not a it's not the ministry of shepherd is the ministry of hirelings is the ministry of wolves in sheep clothing and unfortunately the people of god love this so why do they love it so because amen they've never get, you know truly known amen the ministry of christ the ministry of the true shepherd the bible says he is the good shepherd who opens the door for the sheep amen to go out and to come in if jesus is defined as the good shepherd it means that there are bad shepherds Shepherd who only think of their, their, their pocket, who only think of themselves, who only think of their own comfort, who only use the sheep to, to warm themselves. They milk the, the, the sheep, amen. They skin the wool of in the, the, the wool of, of, of the sheep and they leave the sheep. To the cold. No wonder today the church has gone crazy. Everything has gone awire. Nobody wants to submit to everybody. Nobody wants to submit to anybody. Everybody amen, is a leader to himself. <laughs> to your tent, O Israel. Every man to himself. No order, no structure. In the body of Christ. Why? Because the shepherd has a Use the flock. The Lord told me. I didn't call you to go and start another church. I want you to go to the lost ship. The lost ship of my house. They are all scattered. Scattered. You know. Roaming around. Amen. The world of. You know. The cyber world. Do you know that we have more people. Amen. On the cyber world. On the internet. Amen. Connecting to some form of spiritual, you know, uh, 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 truth, than we have physical people going to church. Some people think, "Oh, this guy just loves to be." A, no, 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 I'm following the divine instruction of God. There are many men that have been wounded, many women that have been wounded. Amen. Yes, who have stopped going to church. Who are just sitting in their home watching YouTube, watching Facebook, all of that. We are catering for those people in case you don't know. In case you think this guy is just doing his. No, we are catering for people who God wants to use in this end time. For now, they're not going to church. But guess what? When the right time comes, they will be the leaders that God is going to use. Amen. To, to restore, to reform, to rebuild, to empower, and to lead these people to war. But for now, we have to train them. We have to build them. We have to encourage them. They may look isolated, but they're not isolated because they have people like Isaiah Phillips in their life. We give them perspective. We give them direction. We give them instruction. Yes, we correct them. We rebuke them. Hallelujah. Yes, we build them. We empower them. Hallelujah. Well, we don't have anything to do in controlling them. They have a choice. They have a desire. When God begins to use us to realign them. They will understand that God, amen, is still interested in their life and they are part of the bigger body. The body of Christ is not divided. What God is doing right now, amen, is, 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 is if you will, is quarantine. You know, it's a quarantine of those that have been damaged and he's, he's raising a prophetic voice to build them, to shape them before he release them back. Let's he release them before their time, amen, and they get wounded again. Can't you see this is all, 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 all God's plan? 
20 years ago who knew that there was gonna there's gonna be a platform called uh, uh, internet you know uh, 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 social media where people uh, will not go to a physical church yet they will be charged if a word if a prophetic word ever came like that people have said it, it never it cannot be that was why you know you know some pastors they did they did whatever they did they thought you know that everything stops with them no but god proved them wrong can't you see the lord is my shepherd now we are beginning to know God, amen, from a new position. He's revealing, he's coming to us from the point of a shepherd. Hear the voice of God. The Lord will be coming to you in this season as a shepherd. This is the prophetic area, instruction from heaven. God will be coming to you, amen, as a shepherd. What does a shepherd do? We are, we've always known that uh, the work of a shepherd is just to feed the flock. <laughs> yes, that's one of it. But beyond feeding the flock, hallelujah, there are other things that a shepherd does. It trains. It protects. It builds. It matures. It nurtures. My sheep hears my voice. A stranger's voice they will not follow. A true shepherd will train the sheep to hear the voice of God. Not the voice of man. Not the voice of strangers. There are too many people in the church hearing, amen, voice of strangers running after, amen, wrong prophetic word, running after, you know, merchants, running after, amen, yes, witchcraft in the name of the prophetic running after all kinds of asundries in the name of the prophetic we've exposed the people of God to wrong doctrine wrong teachings wrong emphasis that's why people today do not have a sense of who they are a sense of God's intentions for their life but we're correcting that The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Think about that. When when you hear I lack nothing, what comes to mind? <laughs> I don't lack money. Oh, come, come on. Yes, you will not lack money, but this is beyond money. <laughs> Anything that you need that will make for the purposes of God, amen, to be fulfilled, to be accelerated in your life, you will not lack it. Why? Because the Lord is my shepherd. I lack no instructors. I lack no instruction. I lack no guidance. The Lord is my shepherd, amen. I lack nothing. Because the ministry of the comforter, amen, has been allowed into my life. The ministry of the comforter is the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Is the great comforter. Jesus said, I'm not going to leave you as orphans. Some people will tell you, well, if you don't have one man of God covering you, you know, one bishop covering you, one apostle covering you, and you have an orphan spirit, it's a lie from the pit of hell. God will release leadership in your life via the ministry of the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit has not become real to you, amen. Listen, men are just figureheads. A person who, do not, who does not have the Holy Spirit is an orphan. Not a person who does not have, you know, a human figure as leaders. Let's get that clear. The ministry of fatherhood begins with a connection with the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Because it's the Holy Spirit that rules us, that steers our heart, that directs our heart to the right people. There are people that we are shepherding, that I'm leading today, whom the Holy Spirit directs, that direct them to me. Some of them were driven away by ungodly men of God. 
but the Holy Spirit said, come, go, go to Isaiah. <laughs> you need him. He's going to shepherd you. God says in the last day, I will give you shepherd who will feed my people with knowledge. Shepherd who will not take advantage of them. Who will love them? Who will care for them? Yes. Who will train them? Who will correct them when they need correct correction? Who will rebuke them when they need rebuke? But who will love them? The Bible says, whom the father loves, he corrects, he chastises. You see, when you have a true leader in your life, his correction will be sweet to you. His rebuke will be, will be honey to you. You won't feel like the person is abusing you because you will know that that's not an abuse because you can see pure love true love that's what is lacking in the body of Christ people are under under a spirit of the tyrants they are afraid because some people have chosen to manipulate but all that is changing what am I saying? I'm telling you, I'm giving you, amen, the, the prophetic mandate of God for the church as we move to us, amen, the place of the end as we continue and, and march to us that place of spiritual maturity. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not telling you just what is going to happen in 2022. 2022 to us is a passage, is a gateway into greater realities. We are moving into greater dimensions in the spirit. Hallelujah. Our vision, amen, is moving to us a kingdom that cannot be shaken. We are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. We are coming to a place of divine stability. Divine establishment. We're coming to the place where our life becomes like an oak tree. Stable. Longevity. Unshakable. Unmovable. They shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That's where the Lord is bringing us to. We're moving towards 2030. Receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken. We're establishing the mountain amen, of God's house. I miss all these other false mountains. And that's why God's prophetic voice has to be clear to us. We must know, amen, which sound is being declared. Which trumpet, amen, is blowing. Yes, God said to Moses, make two trumpets of hammered silver and use them for calling the community together. And for having them, amen. And for having the camp to set out. Make two trumpets. One for gathering the people. We've got to understand these seasons and periods and instructions. The time to come together. When we hear, amen, the, the trumpet, we understand the meaning of that sound we respond according to the frequency according to the demand hallelujah of the sound of that prophetic injunction we are not confused why because we have been trained why because we have been built up why our spirit has been aligned we have been discipled we know amen how to pick each prophetic signal we know amen what each sound means how to respond a lot of people they've heard they've listened to prophetic amen ministry but they don't know how to respond we have not taught people how to respond what is god saying how do we respond to the speaking amen uh, directions and instructions of the spirit people don't know we have to train people. The making of the prophetic sound, amen, the, 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 the prophetic amen, trumpet gives us, in the training of the school of the spirit, gives us, amen, the sense of how to respond, how to connect, amen, how to identify, how to discern. 
how to surrender and submit amen to the ministry of the holy spirit to the ministry of wisdom why because the lord is my shepherd we've we've learned to yield we've learned to surrender we lack nothing he makes us to lie down in green pasture in the midst of 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 challenges, traumas, persecution. We lie down in green pasture. He leads us beside the still water. It's a powerful ministry. Amen. Of the training of a kingdom focused leadership. It refreshes our soul. It guides us along the path that is right for his namesake. Even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will not be afraid. Even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will not be afraid. For he is with us. His rod and his staff will comfort us. People say, oh no, no, no. That man is just terrible. No, no. He comforts us. He comforts us. His rod and staff comforts us. He prepares a table for us in the very presence of our enemy. That's the spirit of the shepherd that we're coming into. He prepares a table. He gives us courage. He sits. He rules in the midst of your enemy. Don't be afraid of them. Don't be guilty. Don't run. Don't, don't go into some... No. Stay. Sit in the midst of your enemy. He prepares a table. He anoints our head with oil. Our cup runs over. He brings us amen, into leadership. He himself anoints our head with oil. We have a sense, amen, of Christ. We have sanity. We're not insane. We can think right. We understand his will, his ways, his counsel. He anoints our head with oil. My head is anointed. Your head is anointed with oil. Oil is symbolic, amen, of the ministry of healing but it's also, amen, symbolic of the ministry of one set aside. It's a ministry of being separated, amen, for a function, for a mandate. It's a sense, amen, of having, amen, sanity to lead, to govern. He anoints my head with oil. My cup is running over. I have more than enough. I am resource. I am grace, empowered, amen, built up. He anoints my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. You enter into a powerful prophetic intercessory flow. Goodness and mercy, amen, are the two reflections of the nature of Christ as he blesses his people. Goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of God. That is the context, friends. That no blessing takes us out of his presence. Takes us out of his house. No. As we walk in this order of divine instruction. We live within the house of God. We live within that temple that is being restored. This is the word that I'm going to be living with us. Amen. Today as a roundup. I pray that this word. Of course there's still so much to talk about. Hopefully maybe we'll talk more about this. As we enter the year. But I want to leave this word with you. I want this word to lead you forth. I want this word to take you into a point and place. Amen. Of, of prayer. Prophetic governmental intercession. I want you to begin to see. I want you to begin to hear. I want you to know that you have a matching order. That you are not alone. Amen. That you are not afraid. Because the Lord. Amen. Has not given you the spirit of fear. That. Amen. You do not feel. You know. Disconnected. Why? Because you are. You are. You are. You are connected with Christ. The head of his church. Amen. And of his body. I want to say to you that it is well with your soul. I want to prophesy into your life that today as you enter into this covenant truth, into this covenant reality, that God will continue to stay your heart, that your life, amen, and your line will fall in pleasant places Why wow, you have a goodly heritage. I proclaim and I declare you who is watching and you that will be listening to this broadcast, I declare right now that you step into divine alignment. You step into divine alignment that the rod and the staff of God, they will bring comfort into your space into your life 
that you will have leaders that will bring order, structure into your life, that will guide you to fulfill God's prophetic program from for your life. I declare in the name of Jesus that the enemy will not take advantage of you. The powers of darkness will not be able to reach you. Why? Because God has, has, has released, amen, the ministry of his rod and his staff. They are there to protect you. They are there to you know, guide you and they are there to instruct you as you move further in the name of Jesus. I declare that you will lay, yes, yes, in greener pasture is a place of prosperity, is a place called the Baraka, the place of the blessings of God, is a place called the Beulah of God. I decree, I declare this day that your life is accelerating into the frequency of God's prophetic demand for your life. I decree, I declare that your life, yes, right now is walking into the grace of newness. Begin to break forth to the north, to the south, to the east, and to the west. Let the ministry of the great comforter continue to comfort you in the name of Jesus. You will not be disappointed. You will walk in accordance to the will of God. You will flow with all the grace the heaven has made available for you in this new day. I proclaim and I declare that Christ is guiding you. As you follow his light, indeed, you will break forth. As the sun breaks forth in the new day, you will break forth in the name of Jesus. For your path will continue, yes, to be enlightened even unto that perfect day in the name of Jesus. It can only get better for you. It can only get better for you in the name of Jesus. He who has begun a good work in your life is able to perfect it, to finish it, even unto the days of our Lord Jesus. Therefore, do not be afraid. Do not feel disheartened. Do not be dismayed because the Lord your God has gone ahead of you. Let your light continue to shine. Shine forth in the name of Jesus. Shine forth. Shine forth. Shine forth. Bring forth that which heaven has impregnated you with. Let it right now receive a new a new sense of life Yes, let that seed in you begin to turn as babies stand. Yes, yes, in the womb of their mother when they are carried. Let let that vision begin to turn. It means that the vision is still alive. The turning, the movement, hallelujah, of the seed means that yes, the seed does not die. I'm saying to you, I'm proclaiming to you that that which heaven has impregnated you with is not dead yet. No, 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 it's not dead and it will not die. They said, do the vision tarry. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait Wait for it. It will speak. The day, the days are coming when God will give that vision a voice. Cantarabayando. I'm speaking to somebody right, right now. Rebos kapatayando. The day are coming and the days are come where God is given that vision. That vision is life. It will speak. It will speak. It will speak. Nothing will hinder it. Nothing will frustrate it. Arise this day and be dressed. For your day of delivery has come. Your day of delivery has come. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the truth of God lead you. Let the will of God guide you. Let the purposes of God continue to be made manifest within your space, within your life right now. Grace to you. Peace to you strength to you. Openings of doors. Doors that heaven has opened. We command them right now to become manifest in the earth. Doors that heaven has opened. Doors that will give you a voice. Yes. Doors that will make you. Yes. One that the rest. Yes. Will look onto. When David came. He became the door. He became the manifestation. He became the answer, yes, of God's counsel within the camp. As Goliath raised his voice, David said, today your head will be given over to the to the vultures. Yes. Why? Because the Lord was with him. I'm speaking to you right now. You are not alone. As you begin to, yes, rebuild the broken altars of your life. As you begin to ask the Lord to once again, yes, help you to rebuild that shattered altar. The altar is the place where the fire yes, get to be steered. It's from the place of the fire that the power, that the boldness, that the grace, that the, that the light 
that you need come back hallelujah that the strength that you need come back uh, come back to the place yes uh, of the rebuilding of the altar because it's in that place uh, the honor the power that wisdom that knowledge that grace will be given to you i declare in the name of jesus fix the altar and begin to see god speak fix the altar then you fix the connection you fix that broken connection in the name of jesus heaven has been speaking but you are not hearing why because somebody something has shattered your altar you cannot hear until the altar is rebuilt fix the altar and then you will hear god in the name of jesus i declare right now as that altar is built as that altar is rebuilt you will begin to hear you will begin to have instruction you will begin to know the next direction of god's plan and purposes for your life in the name of jesus you have what it takes to hear god and you have what it takes to respond in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i declare right now all around you every demonic and satanic oppression right now they begin to go yes in the name of jesus whatever has stopped you whatever has sought to hinder you in the name of jesus yes whatever whatever it is that has stopped that are, that has seek to stop the and frustrate yes uh, the, your, your fellowship with god i command those demonic satanic yes interference to be gone in the name of jesus i declare right now you are you are being realigned back to the place uh, of god's will and purposes uh, i declare right now that heaven yes is coming into your space uh, i declare right now you begin to feel once again the presence of god the ambience of god i declare right now that you are returning back to the garden to the place called eden the place of the delight you are the delight of god uh, delight yourself in the lord uh, and he will give you the desires of your heart come on that is a word for somebody right now delight yourself in the lord and he will give you the desires of your heart the place of delight is called Eden. Eden is the place of delight. As you get to be restored back to Eden, you become the delight of God. Yes, you become a reflection of the paradise of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Sabronga de Feliz to Balayande. What don't you just pray with me? Ze embrigi sonda liba shakapayo li embruga subrande velebe sonda rabahayando. Yes, yes, yes. I see the cloud over your head right now. Yes, giving way in the name of Jesus. Mando robo. They are giving way. Manto sibrano masonda. There is a dropping. Manda robo. There is a coming down. Hallelujah. Mando there is an ascending and a descending mambra kushta yanda brano the ladder i see the connection in the name of jesus yes there is a reconnection of the portal there's a reconnection yes manda riba of the frequency of the voice of heaven over your space over your life in the name of jesus right now right now right now right now you will hear god clearly you will hear god clearer you will hear his will his ways his counsel his plans his purposes mando clarity direction will be given to you for your next matching order as we remove the blockage in the name of jesus as we remove the hindrances uh, in the name of jesus we remove the clutters whatever it is right now that has that has hindered you oh, karaba, let them be removed in jesus name i declare a reconnection a reconnection a reconnection, a reconnection with heaven, <laughs> a reconnection with the voice of God. Uh, once the Lord spoke, twice I've heard David said, we're talking about the Davidic order, we've been talking about the Davidic life, yes uh, he restored my soul, your soul is being restored, when your soul is restored, you will not feel lonely, you will not feel rejected you will not feel insecure you will not feel isolated you will not feel needy, come on I say when your soul is restored you will not feel needy you will not feel rejected you will not feel lonely you will not feel as if you need somebody to become something no when your soul is restored when he restore your soul you will feel fulfilled you will feel feel full you will feel accomplished you will feel satisfied yes in the name of jesus may your soul be restored may your soul be restored may your mind be restored may your faculties be restored i say divine alignment in the name 
name of Jesus, uh, divine alignment, uh, in the name of Jesus, grace to you, knowledge, wisdom to you. I proclaim upon you grace, grace, grace upon you. It's your prophetic season. The Lord will begin to direct you through dreams and visions. Dreams and visions. Dreams and vision will begin to come to you more frequently. And you will remember these visions and dreams as you wake up. Sometimes they will come, yes, in multiple fold, but they are all connected. All part of that which is designed to lead you into that place of maturity. Yes, in the name of Jesus, as you open the word of God, yes, you'll begin to have a deeper and a better understanding of the mind of God. You're coming out of the point and the place of immaturity. You are leaving the place of child ch childishness and childhoodness. Uh, you're coming to a day of sonship. Yes, in the name of Jesus, the ring, the signet ring is being given to you. A seed like the Lord giving somebody a signet ring uh, to represent in the name of Jesus. Uh, you will begin to represent the intentions of God. The intentions of God for the earth. The intentions of the Father. You will begin to represent, yes, the counsels of God over realms, over places, uh, over regions in the name of Jesus. Uh, you will become indeed like an oak tree, like a citadel. You will become indeed, yes, a place, yes, uh, uh, that, 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 that tree that birds can come, yes, and pitch on and, and, and rest on yes you will branch out to different dimension yes in the name of Jesus uh, maturity is coming to you knowledge wisdom is coming to you grace is coming to you capacity in the name of Jesus resource is coming to you right now I declare yes capacity 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 to function within the new day within the new order within the new yes position you know, I see somebody is like you're climbing, a, you know, a staircase. You're moving higher. There's a there's a moving higher in the things of God over your life. You're moving higher. You're moving higher in the name of Jesus with that plain white robe. You're moving higher in the name of Jesus. Yes, you're moving higher. The Spirit of the Lord is taking you higher. They're, they're bringing you to a new point, a new place where the things you're going to be seeing will be brand new. New experience, new reality, new interaction, new dimensions, new expression. Yes, it's your portion in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, in Jesus' name. A shift. A shift. A shift that will take you deeper. A shift that will take you higher. A shift that will connect you, yes, with goodness and mercy. They will pursue you. They will follow you. They will guide you. They will lead you all the days of your life. Oh, hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Father, we thank you. Lord, I give you glory for the things that you have done. For the things that you're doing right now in the life of your people. As they move, Lord, into this frequency of this new season, of this new day, O oh God. I proclaim, O oh God, that your favor will continue to guide them. As your voice lead them, they will respond in the name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. Oh, hallelujah. We want to bless the Lord for his goodness and his grace. His love and his mercy. That has been so mightily revealed in our midst today. Oh, how, how, how can we thank God? How, how can we appreciate him for the things that he has done? For the way he has spoken. For the way, amen, he has led us. I am so grateful to God. I am eternally grateful to God. I really want to appreciate the way the Father has used me. There was, there, there was a different dimension of, of a release in, in, my, in, my, in my life this, this evening. And I thank God for that. I thank God. For you who have connected, I pray that the Spirit of God will continue to drive you further into his higher purposes and, and intention. Thank you everyone that has joined. Thank you my dear sister uh, 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 Nav Nav Navadia. Thank you. It's been a while. 
I hope you you're doing well. Welcome, uh, here man. You're back in South Africa. Welcome. Bless you so very much. Thank God for your life. <clears throat> Thank God for everyone, amen, who has made this a uh, uh, broadcast, you know, a uh, 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 success. Of course, via your presence. Yes, I believe some of you were making demand on on the anointing, amen, upon my life. I thank God for that. Thank you, uh, Sister Priscilla, Sister Tina, uh, Brother Jonathan. Thank you so very much for your comments, every one of you. I want to wish you all a blessed, a fruitful, prosperous, amen, uh, uh, 2022. Just rest in the things that you have heard. The word of God is life. Amen. We run via the word of God. We, we are moved by the word of God. We are guided by the word of God. They say where there is no vision, the people of God cast off restraint. The word of God, amen, brings vision to us and clarifies things to us. So we thank God, amen, for the things that God have, 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 have said and the way God have, amen, spoken to us. Thank you, uh, my brother uh, uh, Shafike. God bless you. I really appreciate, amen, your comment. And everyone out there, amen, that have uh, uh, contributed in one way or the other, you watching or uh, whatever you're watching from, from YouTube, from Facebook, or even from you know Twitter. All right, we're not on Twitter, uh, uh, but we're on two platform on Facebook. God bless you. Thank you so very much. I pray that the Lord will continue to enlighten you and grace you and resource you even in the new year. Thank you so very much. I'll see you ever in the new year by God's grace. Enjoy your evening with your friends, family. Make sure, amen, you just continue to celebrate, amen, what the Lord has done. Thank you once again, everyone, for being part of this uh, our broadcast. We'll see you by God's grace in the new year. God bless you. Bye-bye. Love you all. <laughs>